In this video, I'm gonna show you the official Samsung DeX cable, which allows you to convert your Samsung Galaxy S10, Note 9, or S9 into a more powerful computing machine. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, previously I have reviewed many different devices that allow you to use Samsung DeX on your Samsung Galaxy phone. One of those was the Wolfalo um, USB-C adapter that gives you some other USB ports. Of course, one of the main ones is the actual Samsung DeX pad, or the DeX station that I reviewed in the past. Now a DeX pad could cost you up to $100. Um, some of the benefits of the DeX pad is it does have two USB ports here and you can charge your phone at the same time. But for those of you looking for a less expensive option or you don't need all those extra enhancements, maybe you just wanna mirror your screen or use Samsung DeX, this is a cable that you should definitely check out. So you can pick this up on Amazon for about $37. Now there are tons of other USB-C to HDMI cables that could work, but with Samsung, you're definitely gonna have a better experience as it has official support. So this is 1.5 meters or four foot 11. And uh, a few other things it mentions on the back here is it has a 4K experience, screen mirroring or expand your screen onto a ultra high definition display and Samsung DeX is supported. So that's pretty much all the details about it. Now here we have the cable in the box. Now, of course, I have been using this a little bit, and one thing I do want to mention is it did come with two of these little clips, but I have misplaced them. So here you can take off the clip, and you can see the cable there. So here we have a USB-C and a HDMI cable. So let's get this plugged in and set up on our phone, and I'll show you everything it can do. Now that we have the HDMI plugged in the back of our TV, all we need to do is take the USB-C and plug it into our compatible phone. Now this will work on the Galaxy S10 series as well as S9s with the Android One UI update, S8s, and Note 8 and Note 9 devices. So once you plug it in, you need to make sure that your TV is set to the correct input, and then it will show you this screen talking about Samsung DeX. Now let's unplug it and plug it back in just so you can see what that looks like. So there was the Samsung DeX startup menu. Now, if you do not see the Samsung DeX pop up, it most likely will just start screen mirroring your phone. So all you need to do is pull down the notification tray, and then here you have an option to switch from using DeX to switch to screen mirroring. So if I tap it now, it's then just going to mirror my screen. So whatever I see on my phone, it's going to show up there on the TV. But if I wanna go back to DeX, I pull this down and it says Samsung DeX is available. I tap there and then it can go into the full Samsung DeX experience. So now one of the things is we need to actually control the mouse on the screen. Now, because the Samsung DeX cable doesn't have any options for USB ports to add a mouse or keyboard, you could pair a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, but in today's demo, I'm going to do the full thing with the touchpad you can get on the phone. So to do that, you just pull down the notification tray and here it says, use your phone as a touchpad. So I tap on that and then you can see that my phone is now a touchpad and I can then move around and I will be able to interact with the screen. So here it asks me to adjust my TV to the proper size. I don't need to do that anymore. So I select okay. So now we have our full Samsung desktop or desktop. And so here you have a few of your favorite applications up on the side. Here you have your main wallpaper. If I use two fingers on the touchpad, I can right click and here we can choose wallpaper for Samsung Dex. So I'm actually gonna go and choose my own. So let's see, I do have some pretty cool end game um, wallpapers right here. So I really like this one. So we're gonna set this as the home screen and then we select set wallpaper. And now we have adjusted our Samsung Dex wallpaper. So now the next thing that we could do is we can actually go in and adjust a few different settings. So down here in the very bottom left-hand corner, we have a Dex option. So you click Dex, here you could exit Dex, you can lock Dex, so that will actually take you right to your lock screen. To unlock it, you would then just use the fingerprint on your phone to go in, and then your phone will show the touchpad again. A few other options here is you can go to Dex Labs. So Dex Labs allows you to force apps to resize 
so that you can see those applications within the Samsung DeX interface. So this is helpful on like Netflix to be able to have it in full screen, you would want to have it resize. And then here you have an option to open the last app that you use. Um, if maybe you're always using the same thing in DeX, it could reopen that application. Now, if I select back, it's gonna show me a bunch of other Samsung DeX options. So here I could choose to have it time out after so long. So right now it's set for 10 minutes. There I could change the wallpaper. Right here I have an option to change the screen resolution. So if I wanna change this, I could do this right here. Now for whatever reason, with the Samsung DeX cable, I have not been able to get it to give me the option of WQHD, which is 2560 by 1440. I have only been able to see the 1920 by 1080 option show up. Now, I don't know if that's just limited to my phone. I'm using the Galaxy S10e, but I also tried it on my S10 Plus and I couldn't get that option as well. I also tried it on a Samsung TV as well as a Samsung monitor. But um, some of the new things with Android Pie, so if you have a supported widescreen display, you would be able to use that at a 16 by 10 ratio or a 21 by nine ratio. So hopefully if you get this, it will work with your TV. So then if we go back, um, we have a few options here. We can adjust some of the keyboard settings. So right now I'm gonna have the keyboard pop up on the phone. You could have the keyboard pop up on the monitor so that you would use the mouse to then click on the keys, which would take a little bit of time to do that this way. So here you have show on-screen keyboard and Samsung deck. So if I do have a keyboard plugged in, it would still show the keyboard on the screen. Next, we have mouse and trackpad, so we could improve the speed. So if I want this to go faster around when I'm navigating, I could do that. I can have my primary mouse button be left. So this next option is called flow pointer to phone screen. So if you turn this on, you can actually use your display as a second monitor. So you could go back and forth between the phone and the screen. Now you would need a secondary Bluetooth mouse to be able to do this, um, but this just helps you use that from the right side of the monitor or the left side of the monitor. All right, if we go back, we have a few other options here. One is we have set default audio output. So when I turn this on, it's going to actually play sounds to the TV instead of from my phone. So most people want that so that when you play a movie, it's going to show up on the TV. Here you have Samsung DeX Labs, which we've already seen, and then some other information on how to use DeX. Um, a few of those little quick commands is when you want to move a window around, you can tap and hold, and then you can move this window around. You can double tap to make it full screen, double tap again to minimize it, and you also have the minimize full screen and close options over here. So those are the main Samsung DeX settings that you need to know about. Some of the other navigation features down here, you have your all apps in the bottom right. So it's gonna show you every app that you have on your phone. And then you can use two finger scroll options to scroll between app menus and up and down lists. And then here in the top, you have a menu again, if you wanna to get to the Samsung DeX settings, you can sort, clean up pages, and then more on how to use Samsung DeX. So then you have your recent applications right here. You have the home screen, and then you have the back button as well. So then moving on to the right side, you can see your notifications. So there it's showing Samsung DeX. Here I could switch to the screen mirroring option. And then here I have a notification that I do not have a SIM card. Here I could adjust my Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, see my cellular and battery. And then here I can see the quick panel. So I could quickly turn on flashlight, airplane mode, hotspot, all of that information. And then down here I have my labs as well as a shortcut to the keyboard, my audio. So I could turn on sound or turn off. I can take a screenshot. And then here I can search quickly or use the finder application on the phone to quickly find something. And then you can see that when it's trying to use a keyboard, here on my phone, it actually popped up a keyboard. So if I wanted to find something, I could type it out right here and still use the touchpad to open that application. So here, when I open up the calculator, you can see it opens in this full screen. Now let's go through and open a few different applications. One of the questions I get a lot is, is this a full computing machine? Could I use this instead of a Chromebook, instead of a PC? 
Well, this is like running your Android phone on a bigger screen. Now, depending on what kind of input controls you have, it may be a slower experience, but if you have a keyboard attached and you're doing some word processing, this really should be a pretty quick device. But if you're doing a little more intensive things like video editing and some of that other more intensive applications, you most likely will need a full PC. This is just a way to get your information that you have on your phone onto a big screen very quickly. All right, so here we have four applications open so far. And with a cable, without using the Samsung DeX pad, you most likely can only have five applications and then it will stop and then it will start closing them as I open them. So there we have five open. So let's try and open a sixth. All right, there you go. It said can't show more than five applications on screen at once and it closed one of the applications. So that is one of the big limitations of using the Samsung DeX cable instead of using the Samsung DeX pad. Now the Samsung DeX pad also has a fan built in to keep your phone cool, um, but this actually has, does a pretty good job. The phone is not warm at all thus far. So let's go ahead and play a movie real quick here in the Play Movies application. So I could play a movie in this little window. So there we go, playing a video looks really good on this even though it's currently set to 1080p. Now, my audio did come through my phone and that's because I need to restart DeX to have it automatically go to the TV. Now, a few other things that you can do down here is showing all the applications that I have open. So this is down on the middle. If I click with two fingers, I then have the option to pin shortcut to taskbar. So that means now it's always going to stay here at the bottom and I can quickly open it. I could also hold down and drag that application shortcut right onto my home screen. So if you open up a bunch of applications and you want to be using them all the time, you can then click and drag and move it to the home screen. Now, another option is if you find applications that you want to group together, you can do that. So let's say I have a few different apps here. Let's grab my photos app. I can then drag it to the home screen, drag it on top of another application. And then I can create a folder. So just like on your Android home screen, you have that as well on here. And so the Samsung DeX home screen will always be the same. So if you organize this and customize it, and you don't use Samsung DeX for a while, the next time you come back, it should look the same way as it does now. So using the touchpad on your phone screen is pretty doable and I'm able to navigate around a bit more, but if you're doing anything more intensive than just quickly browsing or looking for something, definitely get a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard that you could pair to Samsung DeX to be able to use this much better. Now, one other thing that you may want to use this for is gaming. Now, when you play games in Samsung DeX, there is a full screen option. So you can resize it to go in a more full screen mode. Now, depending on the app, some of them only use portrait mode, so you can't get them full screen. Um, but you will have a problem depending on the game if you're using the touchpad. So keep that in mind. You may need to get that mouse and keyboard again. Now, if you're wondering about performance differences between devices, the Galaxy S10e does have six gig of RAM. The S10, the S10 Plus do have eight gig of RAM. So they're gonna be able to open up a little bit more applications and just run a little bit more smooth. But so far with the S10e, it's running just as expected. There's really no extra lag or anything um, because I'm using an S10e. Now, one question I do get a lot is when you are using Google Chrome, is will it automatically default to the full website? So let's open this up in full screen. And so I was previously browsing some websites on my phone. And if we open those up on here, you can see that this website like Reddit, it's still in the mobile version. And I may just need to refresh the page to go to the full screen, or you could go into the settings and enable full screen. Um, here is another page that is still just on the mobile version. So now that we have Chrome in full screen, let's go and open a new web page. Let's go here to Yahoo and see what it looks like. So right now 
It looks like this is the full web page. If we come up here, click the menu, we can then request the desktop site. And it looked very similar to what we saw before. You may need to do that on certain web pages to get the full experience. Um, but by default, it looks like it will continue to go to the mobile browser. So that's how you do that again. Click the menu and then desktop site. And that's how you can use Chrome on Samsung DeX. So that is a brief introduction in Samsung DeX with the Samsung DeX cable. If you guys have any other further questions about how to use Samsung DeX, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see any of my other videos on other compatible Samsung DeX products, make sure you check out the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.